welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part two of One Night with Lanolin. I am, your, of course, your host, Lanolin, and uh, we're playing some space engineers, and we're coming in for a landing. In this episode, we're going to build a few things. I'd like to expand out this platform a little bit, and uh, I went ahead and grabbed some iron to help us do that, because uh, I'm a little low on iron. We need to build some armor plates so we can make this thing a little bit bigger. Let's land this puppy really quick. There we go. Locked in place. I like to turn my ships off so I'm not wasting fuel. Personal preference. You don't have to. You can leave them sitting there on. It doesn't use, like, any fuel to just sit there on. But you know what? It uses a little bit. And you know what? A little bit is enough for me to want to turn it off. So I make sure of it. Now, of course, space is dark. So it's not exactly super bright around here. But I got a couple lights to help brighten it up. Um, let's come on over here and fill up our oxygen. Only takes a second because I got the... Uh, what is it? The oxygen generator. I got this oxygen generator hooked up to my medical room. It's a nice little, nice little, little, little touch that you could do to make your life that much easier when you're cruising around in your little space area. Um, so what did I want to make? Or actually, we're fine. We got nickel, nickel and cobalt going. Uh, I got some stone on me. I guess we'll toss it in there. But let's take a look at our cargo hold. What do we got? Ah, yes, this iron. I want to go ahead and get this iron going in this refinery. The refinery is, of course, going to do exactly what you think. It'll take care of refining all your stuff. Ah, nice. See, iron is really fast. Other stuff that I've been working with, like the nickel and the cobalt, super slow. So, seeing this guy go this quickly is like a breath of breath of fresh air. It's, it's wonderful. Well, you know, something I normally do is try to actually park my ship a little bit closer to my... <laughs> Refinery because right now unfortunately I have to do all this stuff by hand um, in the future I know that you can set up conveyor belts and everything and actually have the ship empty its cargo hold Automatically into your refineries and other storage areas Really cool stuff to do, but I'm super early game right now So I'm just kind of I'm stuck doing it all by hand which kind of sucks, but you know it happens right, So I can definitely grab some of this iron and stick it in my assembler The assembler of course gonna assemble stuff that you need and I actually need to make a bunch of these steel plates so let's make a bunch of these steel plates. That's gonna take a whole bunch. At least we can get started. Go over here and take a look at that little cargo hold, if you will. Yeah, see, I have no steel plates. And unfortunately, these guys, these light armor blocks that make up basically the floor of my space station, need a lot of steel plates. Unfortunately, the assembler is also a, a tad bit slow. And we're waiting on this refinery. Man. Although he's still pretty quick. So, what I'm actually going to do is... Something that's actually very rare in this series is I'm going to cut, let this stuff go ahead and process, and let my iron go through and create those steel plates. Then I will come back and we will expand on my platform. See if we can't build ourselves maybe another refinery. Or maybe even another assembler. I'll be right back. Alright, we are back. And uh, all of my plates actually just finished processing. I went ahead and started more because I'm going to need a whole lot more. But I have enough to go ahead and finish up this little segment. This episode. This is an awesome place building. So, building stuff in Space Engineers is pretty cool, actually. First, I thought it was a little bit tedious, but over time, as I've gotten used to it, I really like it. Um, you basically start off by placing down your, like, base version of the block, and then you come with it, come behind it with a welder, and weld it all in place. Nice. What's also nice is uh, you have to obviously carry the materials that you need on you. And you can build, you can actually build ships that'll do the welding for you, so they can hold the materials, and you can get the ship to come here and do all the work, rather than you need to do the work. But for now, because again, I'm not that advanced, as far as technology goes, I gotta hold it all myself and connect each one. But what I can at least do is drop the materials down and move about my base and keep doing stuff, so. I missed one. But that's okay, I actually don't want to expand this too far out. There we go. A little bit this direction. Now I'm not going to have enough steel plates to fill all these in, but that's okay. These guys can still work um, unwelded. Just if they take any damage, they'll break instantly. <laughs> but they'll still work as floor. So we can kind of put the uh, the base down. And be like, man, okay, so this is what it's going to look like eventually. Um, so 
same thing with this guy. I'd really like to add some more refineries, but I don't quite have enough steel plates for that. So I got the gold processing right now. Uh, let's weld a couple of these guys in, like this guy. Let's get him in. Nice. Very cool. So this part's still a work in progress. Again, I don't have too much as far as steel plates go, but what's cool is I can just go ahead and drop the ones that I do have in my inventory. As you can see there, the 5 of 5, 20 of 20 over there in the uh, right-hand corner of the screen. That means I have the materials in there, and all I have to do now is just come behind it and weld it up, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Because what we're going to do is hop back in our ship and go see about collecting some more. But this time on a uh, much larger scale. Wait, start this puppy up. Whoosh. Here we go. Let's turn the lights off. I don't really need them on right now. Right, let's go. So I'm going to go around in the... Um... Actually, you know what? The one resource I don't have on me right now is magnesium. And I, I think I'm going to go grab some. Magnesium is one of those uh, rarer ores. Just like silver. Oh, man. I spent a long time hunting for silver. I finally found one, like, 50,000 meters away or something. <laughs> I was very happy when I finally found it, but I was not happy in my search for it. So, this is magnesium. Well, it kind of looks like ice. Are you sure, you, are you sure you're not ice? No, well, I guess that's magnesium. Wow, it looks really pretty. I have to admit, it looks really pretty. Okay, so, let's get this going. Yeah. I don't have any magnesium. Magnesium is also a fairly rare resource, so having it right here on my home asteroid. About clearing out this one. Maybe I'll clear. Nice big chunk. Position. Let's go right along. Gotta be careful flying in too quickly. You might uh, dig a nice hole, but you also might. I can hold I can hold quite a bit in this uh, medium cargo container, so that's just gonna kind of leisurely mine. Back up and uh, there we go. Very cool. Now you don't have to worry about any of the asteroid or the little bits floating around. Although if you want, you can of course pop out of your ship and chase after it. Ah, come here. Nice. Grab that right out of the sky. Oh man, I left my drills on. You gotta be careful. I'm pretty sure the drills can hurt you. So, <laughs> not something that you want to do. So we made a nice dent in this magnesium deposit. Over time, I'm probably going to end up mining out this whole thing, but I'm really happy to see that it's here. Oh man, I can tell. I can tell I have a lot of cargo because my ship, like when you when you tend to have a lot of stuff on a small ship, especially like you know again a small ship like this one. Uh, storm inbound. Uh oh, okay, yeah, we gotta we gotta get home. Yeah, on a small ship like this one, you end up having a lot of uh, a lot of mass whenever you are coming back from a mining trip. So you have to take that in consideration when you're you're building a ship because it's very difficult to steer now not not super difficult as i you know again i i kind of i kind of knew what i was doing when i built this ship because i'd made many crappy ships beforehand that just sucked oh i can hear meteors landing and hitting things hopefully none of them are hitting my base i'm just kind of moving around the asteroid see if i don't see any other rare deposits of anything else i'd really like to find some silver but yeah i have not gotten lucky with anything close by I guess we can go ahead and head back. Let me turn my GPS coordinates back on. Yeah. Show on that. There we go. That's where we at. Alright. Up. Up we go. There we go. Let's go ahead and swing around. Ooh. Come on. Slow down. Alright. 
we got to make sure we come in kind of slow because again we have a, a fairly high amount of uh, resources on us so the ship is a little bit heavy to say the least about 60 36 thousand kilograms that's uh, a lot so we don't want to come in too hard but like I mentioned in the previous episode or part one I like to get a little closer to the refinery when I'm dumping off items there we go we can park that bad boy just like that oh whoa, he's a little bit closer a little bit too close There we go. That's a lot easier to unload. Nice. Maybe easy more. Let's go ahead and get that sort of process. And there we go. Hell yeah. So with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and conclude the episode. And of course, conclude this little mini-series. We've been playing a little bit of Space Engineers. Um, I've been thinking about maybe doing a Let's Play series of Space Engineers. Right, just kind of screw around. I probably wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't do a tutorial style just because I don't know nearly enough th about this game, so I'd probably just kind of screw around and, I don't know, get killed. Um, but, you know, if, you, if, if you're if you a regular watcher of mine or if you really like this episode and you become a regular watcher of mine and you'd really like to see me play through Space Engineers, please say so in the comments. I'd really like your feedback. So, as always, this has been One Night with Landlin. I have been your host, Landlin. We're playing Space Engineers. Go grab it on Steam for 25 bucks. It is an early access game, so keep that in mind before you make your purchase. If you're someone like myself who usually avoids early access games, um, you know, think about it. It's worth it, in my opinion, though. So, again, Space Engineers, 25 bucks on Steam. I have been Landlin. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini series of one night with Lennon. So be sure to check me out next Sunday where we play a new game. I'm not sure which. You'll just have to come and check and see. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye.